CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. What is this after removing OVD? Everything seemed like a routine case, but then you see this line. Hmm, let's watch carefully here. This looks like a pretty routine case. Starting off with a nice looking incision here, and patient doing a little bit of a bell's movement there. So maybe a little bit more sedation would be helpful. Starting to get the rexus done. Capture back looks pretty good. So guys, nice looking rexus. Again, all looks pretty normal there. We're going to watch the whole case here, start to finish. You're going to show me and tell me what you think is going on. So it looks good. Rotating the nucleus nicely. If it does not spin, you will not win. Well, this surgeon is going to win. It's spinning. A lot of that bell's moving from the patient. It obviously is helping two instruments from the eye. But it also may mean you need more sedation or maybe a little bit more anesthesia. Beautiful chop technique. Then let's go to the end of the case here. Now, taking out the cortex. That all looks pretty good, right? Hmm. All right. Still looks good to me. Cortex being removed. I mean, it looks like a pretty routine case. Obviously, a very experienced surgeon doing a beautiful job with the surgery here. Getting that little last chunk of nucleus out. And now cleaning up here we go. And then now some more viscoelastic. Let's get the lens in the bag. Here we go. Putting the lens in. Watch carefully. There it goes. And then get that positioned. Maybe use the chopper here. And then that well, looks okay, right? Rotating a little bit. Hmm, rotate. Okay. Not too bad yet, right? Oh, look, seven incision. Look right there. Look at the bottom of your screen there. Hmm. Take out viscoelastic here. That looks okay, right? Let's see. Removing viscoelastic. Got oh, there you go. That's loose bag right there. You saw the wrinkles coming across so much? Yeah, there you go. That's that line. So we have some zonulopathy, some zonular dehiscence. So probably upon insertion of the lens and manipulating the lens, see, when you put the infusion back in, it, it inflates the bag mostly. You get a few wrinkles there. But you definitely have some zonulopathy here now. So perhaps it was, it was uh, traumatic, iatrogenic. But you see that line there? That's the capsular rex's edge. So in that area, just where the para is, you've lost zonular support here. Could you leave it alone like this and be done with the case? Yes. Should you? Well, because the rex is coming in like that, it's probably not just one hour, a clock hour of zonular loss. See that now the wrinkles of the posterior capsule as the bag shallows a little bit? You probably have two, three clock hours. Let's say three clock hours of zonular loss here. So what do you want to do, right? Here's viscoelastic. Yeah, you probably want to put a capsular tension ring in the eye. So that's the surprise. Remember, for any surgery, it's not over until it's over. Now you can see how much of the rex comes forwards here. So the rex went from round to now D-shaped, and that's the straight line of the D. And where that straight line of the D is, that's zonulopathy. So that's probably a solid three clock hours. If you extrapolate that, that's three clock hours of zonular loss in that quadrant. So CT here, I think, is going to be helpful. It'll fill the bag with viscoelastic, make sure the bag is nicely inflated, get the CTR, and I think you'll be okay then the rest of the case. I think it'll be fine. But I don't think I'd leave it like this. Because, see, the, the capsular rex's edge came in that far, that means you really have a significant degree of zonular loss. So now with the viscoelastic, look, you can reinflate the bag and temporarily it looks okay, but you obviously can't leave viscoelastic in the eye forever. With the viscoelastic, it looks like it's beautiful, right? Now that's normal because we've reinflated the capsule bag here. So what I do is, yeah, I'd inject the viscoelastic in the bag on top of the optic, and I'd try to put the CTR in. Now think about this. Which way are the haptics facing? Because as you put the CTR in, you don't want it to get caught up in the haptics, right? So if the haptics are pointing in one direction, you're going to, and you come up opposite that with the CTR, you, you may end up pushing the CTR onto that haptic or hitting the haptic. So yeah, I'd put it in in the same direction as the haptics are. So we know where the haptics are on the anti-S. So let's see here. And I'd, I'd actually put it, yeah, I'd put it the other way. I'd, I'd, I'd start inserting this towards the left. Now, you can certainly do it either way. Just take your time here. If it's going around, it's going around. But I just don't want it to get hit on the edge or the tip of the haptic is why I'd say do it the other way. But I guess you had enough viscoelastic in the bag. You inflated the bag. It looks great. It's getting in there. And now let's drop this in the capsule bag completely. And that should do it. Wow, that's stressful. All right. Maybe your second hand. Well, there we go. And get that optic straightened out a little bit. Let's make sure that all looks good. And that should resolve the issue. That's what the line was. That secret line in the quiz in the title slide, that line was the edge of the capsular axis. 
from some lasagna lapis from three o'clock. Now look how good it looks. See that? You've re-expanded the bag there. Now the rice looks totally normal. Beautiful save, by the way. Great job by our guests over here. Thank you for sending the video in. Such a pleasure to watch. Yeah, be very conscious. Now, I would not do too much manipulation. At this point, let's just get out of the eye, right? Let's just finish the case up. Take as much viscous as you can. Don't worry about going so far behind the optic. It's not a torque lens. You're not worried about rotation. Let's just clean this up and get this case finished. Whew. So remember the saying, it's not over until it's over. And that means you're absolutely taking the drapes off. Then it's over. Well, hopefully, hopefully there are no issues in the post op period. But in this case, I think the patient is going to do great. And the surgeon had a beautiful, beautiful technique of rescuing this very tough case. Hope you got the quiz right. And remember, check out our sister channel, retinarounds.com.